Cruel customs have persisted throughout history, leaving us both fascinated and horrified by the depths of human depravity. One such custom that shocks and repulses us is the practice of cannibalism, the act of consuming human flesh, whether for cultural, ritualistic, or survival purposes has been documented in various ancient and modern societies across the globe. It is a taboo that challenges our moral and ethical boundaries, offering a glimpse into dark and unimaginable realms of human behavior. Cannibalism is not solely confined to fictional tales or horror movies. It is an ancient practice deeply rooted in history. This article takes you on a journey through time exploring the instances of cannibalism that emerged in diverse corners of the world. From the Aztecs of Mesoamerica to the Four Tribe of Papua New Guinea, the concept of consuming human flesh has been ingrained in the cultural fabric of certain societies. By unraveling the stories and motivations behind these acts, we aim to understand the complex dynamics at play. In the case of the Aztecs, cannibalism was intricately linked to religious beliefs and practices. They believed that consuming the flesh of sacrificed warriors would infuse them with strength and power. The act itself was seen as a form of tribute to the gods, a way to honor and gain favor from their divine entities. These rituals were elaborate and deeply ingrained in Aztec society, shaping various aspects of their civilization. Moving across continents and centuries, we encounter another instance of cannibalism among the four tribe in Papua New Guinea. Their practices, however, were vastly different from those of the Aztecs. The four people partook in a form of cannibalism known as endocannibalism, where they consumed the remains of deceased family members. This custom was born out of a belief that by ingesting the flesh of their loved ones, they would inherit their qualities and keep their spirits alive within them. The four tribes' endocannibalistic practices were also tied to a devastating disease known as Kuru. This neurodegenerative disorder was transmitted through the consumption of infected human brain tissue. Although the four people were unaware of the link between eating flesh and the spread of the disease, their rituals inadvertently perpetuated its transmission with, with their community. It was a vicious cycle, where mourning and remembrance became intertwined with the tragic consequences of their customs. Cannibalism is not limited to ancient civilizations or isolated tribes. It has had a presence in more recent history as well. One infamous example is the Donner Party, a group of American pioneers stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains during the winter of 1846 to 1847. As their food supplies dwindled and starvation loomed, some resorted to consuming the flesh of their deceased comrades in order to survive. It was a desperate act born out of dire circumstances, but one that would forever stain their story with an indelible mark of savagery. The practice of cannibalism is a complex and multifaceted topic, intertwined with cultural, historical, and psychological factors. Societies have engaged in this taboo act for a variety of reasons, including religious rituals, survival in extreme circumstances, and even as a symbol of power. It challenges our perceptions of what is acceptable and morally justifiable, forcing us to confront the darkest corners of human behavior. While cannibalism may be confined to the annals of history for most societies today, it serves as a chilling reminder of the depths to which humanity can sink. The study of these cruel customs allows us to better understand the complexities of human nature and the factors that shape our collective psyche. It highlights the eternal struggle between savage instincts and the constructs of civilization, bringing to light the importance of empathy, compassion, and preservation of our shared humanity.